I think when we take evidence forward in the 21st century, we need to recognise that the challenges that the world has given us are just vast. They're extensive and they're much bigger and more complex challenges than the ones that our parents and grandparents faced when they were doing development. We didn't really see the job of development as being uh, empowering minorities or making governments more effective or being able to uh, consolidate a peace agreement and all, uh, build the rule of law. All these, all these challenges are now on the table. Uh, where previously it was mainly just about building stuff, about putting roads and bridges and irrigation systems in place. So we have a much bigger mandate, which means that we're tackling much more complex problems and we need different forms of evidence, we need different kinds of theory, and we need different kinds of frameworks for understanding all of that. So evidence has to be a, a part of that process. Uh, but I think when you look at history and you look at the most significant achievements that have humans have had, uh, if, if those processes of change had waited for evidence as such to be around before they acted, then we wouldn't have moved forward. A lot of the really complex work, a lot of the, the most difficult work that humans have ever tried to do, like ending slavery or being able to ensure equality between men and women, all of that uh, is incom still incomplete and still centuries long, or in the case of uh, effective government, uh, thousands of years that humans have been wrestling with these things, trying to figure out what to do about it. And so I'm, I'm a researcher, so I, I care a lot about evidence, but a researcher also should care about theory. And, a, 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 and I think a researcher and a, and a theorist working in the space of complex interventions needs to recognize that a lot of people come to these issues on the basis of very deep convictions about what they're trying to change. And therefore, we should see evidence as very necessary but insufficient for guiding and supporting action that is being undertaken in the world.